So imagine you're on your Fire Stick, Fire TV, you go to check for updates, click on that, and the next thing you see is this. Now, Vega OS is being installed to your device. Just imagine seeing a pop-up like that. And this is probably one of the biggest issues that people have or the biggest concerns about this new update that will this new Vega OS install over their current Fire OS operating system. Now, I've said this many times before in many videos, Never in the history of any Amazon products have they ever upgraded an Android version from one version to another. So for example, the devices on Android uh, 5, which is Fire OS 5, are still on Android 5. So my device, which is on Fire OS 7, which is Android 9, will always stay on Android 9. That's just the way that Amazon have been doing things since day one. And the great news is they've just announced brand new devices coming running Android TV 14 or Android 14. And the reason why this is very positive news is lots of people were worried that Vega OS is coming and it definitely is coming. But what's going to happen to the current devices, the current Fire Sticks, the current Fire TV Cubes? What's going to happen to the current Fire TV estate? Well, the fact that Amazon are still pushing ahead and releasing devices running Android instead of Vega OS, I do think that's very positive indeed. Now, this was actually posted today on a couple of different news sites. As you can see here on 9to5Google, we have Amazon is not giving up Android on Fire TV just yet. And the reason why they keep saying just yet is definitely the long term plan is they will release devices running Vega OS, which is based on Linux. But that will be for certain new devices. It doesn't mean they're going to completely stop running Android on their remaining devices. Let's scroll down. So it was reported that Amazon will be shifting its Fire TV lineup away from the Android base, but it does seem, at least for the time being, it looks like it will be put off for a little bit longer as the company has hinted at newer Android TV based 14 build or Android 14 based build. Now it was reported back in 2023 that Amazon will be switching off all future Fire TV devices to the newer. There were new jobs posted and Vega OS did appear on some of the Echo shows and some of the other smart home devices, but nothing has ever been released on any of the streaming devices as yet. Now, AFTV News reported that if you look on the Amazon documentation, they've now listed an upcoming release for Android 14 based Fire TV devices. So I think that's a very positive move and it just shows that Amazon is not completely giving up on Android devices. And in case you're wondering what the big concern is, well, as Vega OS is not going to be running Android, it means sideloading your favorite applications, your favorite streaming applications. None of that will be really possible unless somebody can come up with some kind of custom version which will be supported on that particular OS. But this is one of the reasons why people do prefer having Android just for that ease of sideloading. So for example, devices like the Apple TV 4K, superb device. I've actually got one myself. I just haven't opened it yet superb device but the fact that you can't really sideload or not sideload easily it does make the device severely limited this was another key point that you mentioned that they don't really call this newer version of android 14 as fire os 9 or something else they keep calling it as android 14 based version so so for whatever reason they're not giving it the new fire os name the latest fire os versions as you can see on screen currently is fire os 8 so I would have hoped that with this newer Android 14 based version, it would have been Fire OS 9. But the other great thing mentioned on Elias's page is that this will be the first time ever or first time since the original OG Fire TV device where this device would actually run a 64 bit OS, even though all of the previous or most of the previous devices do have compatible 64 bit hardware. The software that we install on them is always 32 bit. So Fire OS 6, 7, 8, all of them are running 32 bit code. But with this newer version, this Android 14 based version, it will be the first time in many years to run a 64 bit OS. And it will mean that applications that run on there will have to be 64 bit compatible because it's going to run in exclusive 64 bit mode. There are normally higher memory requirements for running something in 64 bit. Maybe this is why one of the reasons they've kept all the other devices to 32 bit, just to minimize the memory overhead. Now he closes off the article by saying that many of the Android enthusiasts were concerned about Vega OS and what it means to the future of the Fire TV lineup. The fact that we do have this new Android 14 based Fire TV device shows there's still life left in the Amazon ecosystem. So for the people that love sideloading, the people that love installing their own applications, you still have a future with Amazon devices. And he says they may introduce more affordable future Fire TV models, like maybe a basic or a budget friendly one that will be locked down to Vega OS. So if all you want to do is your standard streaming applications, you don't want to sideload, looking for a super easy, super easy to use budget device, 
then maybe one of the newer Vega OS devices will be suitable for you. But generally for the majority of people, I do think that Android based Fire TVs are here to stay at least for the next five to 10 years. I really don't think you have anything to worry about. And just before you go, guys, if you are looking for a super fast VPN, which will allow you to unlock geolocked content, change your IP address, change your virtual location. Right now, there's a super special offer where you can get total protection for all of your devices, all of your applications, your add-ons, your APKs, your streaming apps. All of them can be covered with the VPN and they also give you unlimited connections. What that means is it doesn't matter if you've got three Fire Sticks, 10 Android TVs, two laptops, all of those devices, unlimited devices, will be covered with a single license. You get blazing fast speeds, so zero buffering, and they also have a verified no logs policy. So they're not logging anything, they're not monitoring anything. You really can stay anonymous whilst using this VPN. You can access all of your favorite applications, your Netflixes, your BBC iPlayers, your Hulus. All of your streaming applications can be unlocked by using this VPN. And to get all of that for just over $2 a month, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel, so many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.